Well, a local group has changed its name, but not its values. In the studio this morning is Adam Hartley. He's from the rebranded Gear Up to Lead. Good morning, Adam. Hey, good morning, Joel. Before we get into all the things that you're doing, because you're doing a lot, Gear Up to Lead, you changed your name. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, we're a new organization started in January, and GEAR, uh, G-E-A-R, is an acronym. Um, and what it's about, it stands for uh, uh, developing a growth mindset, building empathy, mm -hmm. taking positive action, and accepting responsibility. And, and we believe that when those four components are working uh, simultaneously, we can all be heroic leaders mm -hmm. within the community. It's really making local students better people is what you're doing. Oh, for sure. We're working with youth and adults. And, yeah. and essentially, we all have the tools to uh, step up, be heroic leaders within our world, whether it's at school, at the, you know, the corporate office, or at home with, with the family. And, mm -hmm. and um, we're working with youth and adults to build those skills uh, and to foster that, that mindset that uh, allows us to act heroically within our community. All right, some things you're doing right now, other things are ahead. Give us a little uh, rundown of what you're doing. Yeah, sure. Uh, Be the Voice campaign and middle school, high school, and college students uh, can accept this call to action to educate Genesee County on the crisis of child abuse and neglect. So if you go to our website, which is gearuptolead.org, um, and you click on Be the Voice campaign, they um, create a 90-second public service announcement that will educate us about child abuse and help uh, stop child abuse and neglect in Genesee County. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Uh, we've partnered with University of Michigan Flint. Uh, they are currently um, uh, training all in, uh, incoming freshmen on cultural competency and responsiveness. So working with people from different backgrounds and a diverse um, uh, group of people, we've been able to uh, help U of M Flint develop that content. All right, well, there's an event coming up this fall we'll talk about in the next half hour. Sounds Pepper. great, thank you. Holds tight there, Adam. Our well, local group has changed its name, but not its reason really for existing or it, what it does all the time, its values. Joining us this morning is Adam Hartley. He is from Gear Up to Lead. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Joel. We remember you from before uh, with the hero stuff, but now it's Gear Up to Lead. Before we get to the events you're doing, tell us a little bit about what this organization organization is yeah it's basically you know developing a growth mindset uh, building empathy taking action and accepting responsibility and, and uh, we're re working with youth and adults and various organizations around Genesee County to develop those skill sets uh, to change our mindset to believe that we're all heroic leaders and we can make positive change and uh, so we're very excited about uh, working with various uh, people and organizations in Flint, Genesee County mm -hmm. and beyond to build this heroic uh, leadership uh, mentality uh, within our culture. Great work that you've done in the past. And I know you have something coming up, a couple of things one that we want to talk about. One is at Kettering University. Tell us about that. So June 12th through the 14th, our director of athletics, Dan Farrell, has done an amazing job putting together an experience for varsity boys and girls. Um, uh, camp at uh, Kettering University and some um, and Flint Powers Catholic actually down the street and so between the competitive games just like any team camp uh, you're gonna get uh, speakers you're gonna get breakout sessions we have uh, for instance Kellen Brandon he's a Flint guy five-star recruit out of Southwestern uh, he now owns his own company Brandon publishing company he's gonna come speak about how uh, his experience on the court has helped him be an entrepreneur and uh, what, what heroic leadership means on uh, the basketball court and in life. Also, uh, October, you got something going October on. October 2nd at the Whiting. Uh, we're very excited. Chris McDougal is going to come back to Flint and keynote. Our other keynotes, Charlie Batch, former Lions quarterback, two-time NFL Super, Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. Angela Swantek, oncology nurse out of the Detroit area who exposed uh, Dr. Fata, who they call Dr. Evil. Uh, she's going to be there to talk about uh, being a heroic leader uh, in the medical field and doing what's right. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of local speakers, local breakouts. We're very excited about October. Uh, that's for everybody. So educators, business owners, community members. Um, if you go to our website, uh, you can find out information about the conference. We have teacher training this summer at U of M Flint. Uh, that's free to any educator. All right. Uh, and that information's on our website as well. All right, Adam. Gear up to lead. You can find them online. Thank you for coming in, Adam. Yeah, thank and you, Joel. Appreciate be in touch it. before your October event. We Will wanna, do. We'll talk about it.